Hey everyone, I'm Katie Bertram with So Cute by Katie. Today I wanted to share with you my love of fabric panels and I got some yesterday at Hobby Lobby so if get ready for Christmas. I know it's only July but hey it's Christmas in July. So I wanted to share with you some of my fabric haul of what I've got and to share with you some other panels. Um, if you like to sew or you're just getting into sewing, fabric panels are great um, to make blankets with or wall hangings. And I'm just gonna show you um, a couple uh, blankets that I sell here on my shop and um, on my website and Etsy shop. So this is a Noah's Ark panel. I did put it on the long arm and quilt it, but I also make t-shirt blankets. So I put, I just use polar fleece on the back so I don't have to use any batting, keeps the cost down. And then I actually had some scraps of fabric that I use for the binding so you can make something cute. But you honestly don't even have to do the binding if you don't want to. So you could sew it right sides together, turn it inside out, and voila, you've got an adorable blanket so you can quilt it or not. Um, but I love panels. This is another one. This is an adorable little play mat blanket. It says it has princess rules on it. And I have this awesome velvety kind of um, minky type fabric. I had scraps from blankets that I had made. And then I just did a little pink trim on it. Um, I did put this on the long arm to give it some quilting, but there's no batting in it. So still makes it nice and cozy, but not super heavy. But I wanted to share with you um, some things that I just got at Hobby Lobby. So if you wanna get out to your local Hobby Lobby, when they get these panels in at Hobby Lobby, they, they sell out pretty quick. You wouldn't think they would, but they actually go pretty fast. So I figured I would show you some things um, so you can get ready for Christmas, even though it's in July. So this is one panel that I got. And I love this Santa getting the tree, it's adorable. Now these panels, you can add to them. You can make bigger quilts. You can just um, put a back on it to make a panel and then hang it on your wall for cute little wall decor. This is my favorite one. It's this farmhouse scene. Oops, hold on. It's got the snow scene with the tractor and the barn. I just think it's really pretty. I, actually, I love this one. Um, so this one's more rectangular. Um, I'm probably gonna make this a throw blanket, so I may not add to the side of it as much, but I'll like build up the top and bottom to make it taller and more blanket size. This one's a little skinny. So this would be really good as a wall hanging, but I'm actually, uh, you can add to the sides. I am in a quilt guild and we um, have a group that donates blankets or quilts to the local children's hospital. So I may actually make this into a blanket and we'll donate that um, to the children's hospital because I think it'd be super cute, especially, you know, it sucks to be in the hospital at Christmas time. So it'd be fun to have something to brighten your hospital room and cheery and Christmas theme. Now this is a panel to make a book. So I have never made one of these, but I think it's so cute. And on the panel, it gives you instructions. See, there's the book and it tells you how to do it. But it's the night before Christmas, so you have each of the pages. And what you do is you put quilt batting in between it. You don't necessarily have to quilt it, um, but then you'll cut these out and it'll give you instructions, tell you which page to sew um, front and back. And then you're gonna just sew it down the center seam right here to make the book. So I've got plenty of scraps of quilt batting, you know, that I've cut off the edges, you know, always keep stuff in your stash. I mean, I can't really make a blanket out of this, but this is going to be perfect for that. So it's also good to, um, for batting buster, not really a scrap buster, um, to use for that. But some other cute panels that I got, we had a, one of our local quilt shops sadly closed. So I've stocked up on other panels to make um, some really cute blankets and I just thought I would share with you. So look how adorable this is. But you know, you don't really have to add anything to it. Um, so you can build it up and make a bigger blanket. 
but if you are quilting it's really nice to have a panel because you've got a large center area so you don't have to do as much uh, cutting and piecing together so these are just some of the little fun patterns that i got now this one's my favorite because i absolutely love snoopy and i do have some coordinating fabric for that to build that one Sew those together and then this one i absolutely love the staying on this look how cute that is and i've got coordinating fabric it's so bright um it's got a lot of inspirational things on it um if i can it says joy you are my sunshine i don't have my readers on so it's hard to read all that <laughs> um this is another So if you've never worked with a panel, but look at this, nothing to piece together. It's totally adorable. You can cut this out, put a backing to it and have the cutest blanket. You can quilt it or not. Um, you can put flannel on the back. You can put polar fleece. You can do minky fabric. Uh, you can do it however you want. So you can add batting to it and put a cotton on it or add batting and you know, still use the fleece or minky all kinds of things. So um, if you've never worked with a panel, I highly suggest them because um, they're just really cute. And like I said, it makes your project faster. Um, so you don't have to have so many pieces and squares and all those kinds of things when you're doing lots of quilting. So I just wanted to share with you the fabric haul from Hobby Lobby for the Christmas items. And if you have a Hobby Lobby near you, I would definitely, if you're interested, go get them because they do sell out. Um, they won't have these probably by the end of September for sure. Um, you probably get another month. Like one of them, they were already had like two or three left and the girl that was cutting for me said that they can't even order, she can't order them. So it's kind of one of those things, once they're gone, they're gone. So keep an eye on them, but definitely try them out. If you have any questions about quilting, I also do long arm quilting. So, um, you can ask me and hopefully I can answer for you and um, you can check out on my Facebook page or my website some of the other quilts that I've done that we sell here in the store. Um, the website is so cute by katie.com. Um, so let me know what you think. Let me know what kind of panels you like. Um, I've even found some Facebook groups that you know sell panels because they're just really easy and fun to work with. So hope you've enjoyed this video if you want to leave me a comment about anything feel free to do so give me a thumbs up if you liked all the panels that i showed you and be sure to subscribe to my channel and i'll be back with some more um, sewing related videos some alterations and embroidery so look for those to come bye